Hey guys and welcome back to our chapter of the study in green which I only just realised at the start of this that I've actually been calling it I think the study of the green unless it has suddenly just changed title I don't know but yeah welcome back we're currently travelling uh, back to our apartment to meet Watson I guess he should be there so we can break back into um, Bernard Marley's office to uh, find out what he's hiding there because uh, old Sherlock here thinks he is so yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're heading to do. So we should, I assume, just to speak to him and uh, end up heading straight back there to uh, investigate what's in his office. Obviously, we do have that conclusion if you did see the last episode. If you didn't, go watch it. Go watch it because something interesting happened in that episode. But um, yeah, that, uh, we've got a conclusion that we could actually... Uh, oh, here we go. Punish uh, Sir Charles, but we still not to uh, investigate him more. Caitlin's happy Alice is playing the piano, she disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... I want to see what's in the letter. Yes. Sneaky, sneaky. I can't help myself. I must open this letter. Sweet. Uh, uh, what, what do we use? So, sorry, the, the kettle? I need to turn on the gas burner first. Okay. So we're going to boil... Ah, there we go. I was, thought I was holding it in front of the, uh... I need to open it with something sharp. Oh, no. I'd, uh, I'd be confused what's gone on there, so... He's put it on steam, and that, uh, does something to letters. I never knew that. Does it loosen the, um... Little bit that you lick to, uh... Put the, uh... Like, envelope down? Yeah. That's the Alice. So you finally did it. You move and set yourself next to him. You're a bold one. He will fascinate you, but be curious of him all the same. I'm writing to tell you that I found your father's boat. It is quite damaged, but still afloat. You can use it if you wish. You must know that your father. Oh, wrong thing. How do we do this again? There we go. It was like a bribe to me. If there's anything in any way that I can do to help, please let me know. Anything, whatever risk it may involve. Okay. I want to know who that's from. I'd love to know who that's from, but obviously we don't know. plan to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Okay, so we need to speak to her then, do we? I need something to apply the glue. Uh, this? Oh, this. Okay, nice. So that's what you do, we need to glue it back up. So he doesn't know that we opened it. And looked at her mail. That's it. Don't I was hoping anyone would like their next door neighbour. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. Talk with Alice on the balcony. Alright, do we go out? I need to speak oh, with Miss Alice then? first. We, what, we've got the balcony at the back? Or the... This door? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I knew it'd be a balcony through one of the doors, just doesn't matter. Oh, there she is. Wonder what she's got to say for herself. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frighten me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice, come back in. I can do it. See? <laughs> You're wonderful. I like to think that the feeling is mutual. 
We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Okay. So because we're hiding secrets from our daughter, she's hiding secrets from us. Okay, I feel like this is going to get very interesting. Like maybe, maybe like... Ah, post, her, I like, entirely forgot. That within... There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Okay. Visit the hospital of tropical diseases. Okay, we well, visit the hospital first then. Okay, we need to disguise ourselves. Okay. Okay, we'll do this first. We'll visit the hospital first then. Let's uh, see what we've got. They can disguise ourselves as his... Uh... Right. I can't remember what he said. Let me say that a second ago. Doctor Alpha, I guess. Does this work? Let's see. Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Okay, sweet. So this should this should work then. Let's go to the hospital. I wonder who this mystery guy is. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, with uh what's her name? Next door neighbour. Is it is it Alice? I think that might be interesting. That could be like, like a, like a main story within all these little, like cases and ch like chapters we're trying to, uh, um, well, work out. So let's 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 go. Let's do this. She can't be good anyway. Whoever she is, his next door neighbour, she can't be good. So, interesting. Find out what happens with her. But do we talk to him then? Let's ask where. Oh, Dr. Watson, ah. may I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. Yes, he's in a bad way. You'll find him in a cubicle on the window side. Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Okay. Patients oh, visit this just missed it. Treatment and then return the part of tropical diseases that we're going to read, yeah. Department of Tropical Diseases. Okay. Is it anything? Okay, we can't actually get through that. <laughs> Let's go see. Can we see? In, uh, so he's on the window side, which means he should be. Uh... Oh, what's this? Okay, we can't look at that. Window side. Oh, is this him? That no. Window side. Oh, this could be our man then. And he definitely looks in a bad way. Yeah, well, yeah, let's, let's speak to him. I'm just too busy looking at him. <laughs> He's in a bad way. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please. I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. Okay, let's do a person thing. I can't remember what this is called, but yeah, he's got a patched eye. Oh, it's diseased. Okay, anything? Oh. Oh, red marks on neck. Bad and changed marks on disease. That's not disease. That does not look like a disease. I think it's being changed. Yeah, you don't get their marks from from uh, having some sort of disease. I don't think. I mean, you might do, but you know, for this instance, you don't. Not nah. Look at their marks down there. Yeah, he's been in, he's been in a bad way. Oh, he's got yellow fingers. What well, is? Is it? Oh, he's, is that? He's been outside. I kind of marked it. Oh, I wonder if he's been in with an older. Bernard. Oh, he's missing the right arm. I didn't. I, I didn't realise that. I was like just looking for the thing, and then oh yeah, he's missing an arm. That must be because of his disease, I guess. 
Okay, he's around 45 years old. Ex-member of the Archaeological Club. Diseased by other members of the club. Ooh. He suffered a disease that affected his eye. Albert lost his arm many years ago. Ah, oh, so this is the guy. This is the guy in the picture. Okay. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Suffolk's telling me you're lying, mate. Because I've got some evidence to bang that up. That'd be the... Yeah, that'd be the photograph from the club. Yeah, because he's in it. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Chacuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down! I'm sorry, my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. Oh, we're gonna, we, we're gonna search his little cubicle. Oh, we're gonna fire something to TQ and all... TQ and... TQ and Kumar. next, Holmes? I think. Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. Yeah, we'll have a little nose, I think. Yeah, that's been nosy. This address oh. is almost invisible. A hostel for tropical disease to Mr. Bright address. Probably like, I don't know, Cook Street, 21D. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Okay. Anything else? No? Ah. Mr. Byron is due for a consultation with Dr. Brunt. Okay. Bandages, been bleeding. Something in his pocket. It's like a ticket. Our man oh. passed by a circus. I was actually going to say a circus. Like, maybe like a circus ticket. <laughs> Oh, you're still here. Oh, he's back. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. I know how to find him. Search the map. Southern Cook Street could be part of his address. Okay. Okay, we've got to break into Marley's office at uh, at night though. I don't know if we if we travel back there, maybe um, it would just be uh, it just be date uh, if we it actually be night time. So let's let's go there and see because it doesn't. Yeah, it looks night time. It looks like time out, out the, uh, out the, out the, out the uh, door of the, the carriage. That was a light one. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just hoping when we get there, that it just automatically kind of be night time. And he's with us as well. The doctor's with us. So. Because uh, I really want to talk to this guy. I want, well, not talk to him. I mean, I want to sneak in. Oh, that's a bit dodgy there, the game. A bit frame raping. I want to sneak in and be nosy again. I want to find some dirt on this guy. Watson, stay alert and you'll need to be quiet. Okay, so can we just walk in, yeah? I think we're in. Taking a little while to load. We're in. Oh, I oh know we're not. Use the create lock pits to lift the lock plates and create and yeah, okay. Uh so we've got two. Oh, this is a big one then. Let's go number How do we uh remove No 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four, number four. Confirm that one. Oh, wait, hang on.
Ah, oh, I see. There's different ones. Oh, wait, no, hang on. We need to move forward then. This one, here we go. There we go. Perfect. Got a tiny bit confused then. Okay, we're in. What's the ladder? I think that's how we're going to get into his office. Guys, there might have been a weird cut then. Sorry about that. Uh, someone actually just came in. Um, I think we're going to... I mean, I can go this ladder somehow. But let's, uh, let's knock on his door anyway, or like try and get in his door. Can we, if he can pick up or anything. This door is securely locked. I must find another way in. Ah, so if we use R1, yeah. Ah, here we go. Oh, so he pushed. Pu oh, oh, okay, I see. Okay, we're gonna have to push this like, as far as we can, I think. Okay, I think we can oh, wait, hang on. Maybe we need to. Under Wait, does it go through? Others might see nothing here but fence, but there is more to it than that. I can't move this. Something is blocking. Me. I can't move Have we got to move that fence first? Something okay. Is blocking Oh, because we've got to move this. Where's like, so we've got that over there. We need to move this one. No, wait, hang on. That moves that up. That moves that over there. So ah, oh, so this goes to this one. So we've got to move this one somewhere. I think. Okay. 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 Or was I just hang on? Or was I just doing this? No. No. Okay. Let's see what this does. Hang on. This might take me a little while, guys. Okay, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's I don't know if that's right or what. But yeah, let's uh let's go back over to this one. And I we should be able to move this one up. Yeah, here we go. Oh there you go, there we go. So that one's over. Can we move this? No. So we've got that one out of the way. This is the calm. We need to move this because that then so we can get this round. Nice. Okay, okay, let's move this forwards again. Onto the next turntable. Go on, sir. Use those muscles. Go on. Just a bit further. Push. Push, man. That's it. Okay, then we need to turn. Up. Wait, I guess we need to put it down there then. Because obviously it can't go that way. Yeah. So let me push it down here. Because I guess we can jump across it then. Okay, 
Okay, so keep going. Go on, Shara. I hope this is the right way. Okay. So we've got that there. We've got this. What do we do with this? Let's uh let's let's have a little play of this one. Can we get in it? Let's go on the other side, hang on. Well, we need to somehow get up there. The balcony door's open. Wait, so I just moved from side to side. That has that one, which we moved out the way to move that one. No, move that one to move this one. Wait, can we climb up this? Hang on. Yes. Okay, this is what we climb up. I don't know if we can actually make it across, but we're... We'll see what happens, see how far we get, and see if we can get across. I think I've cleared the path. Oh, we need him to do it for us. Okay. Okay, so let's walk forward. So we can now get up here. What, do we need to go on the other side? No? Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's go up the ladder. So then we have to go this way. And we need. Oh, ladder. Okay, we climb down the ladder. Oh, that's when we need that little cage up because I think we might have to walk across it. Yeah, okay, so we need him to do that cage. Where's the uh, thing for that? Was that over here? I think it was this one over here, yeah. Okay, we might actually end up going into this office next episode, guys. Oh, oh, oh okay. No, 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 Okay, it's next to the box. Okay, just need to, we'll quickly do this, guys, in this episode. If we can get round. Yes, we can. Okay. Does it not just drop one? Wait, maybe maybe we swim it up. It must be fine at home. It must be okay. Where is, where is it? Down here.
Oh wait. Oh no, I know. I know what we need, guys. We need to get the... Uh... Oh man, we're going to have to push this back around. Because we need to land it on top of this. That's why it's over there first. Oh man. <coughs> okay, so we keep pushing this around. It's all over with cart that might have then, guys. My arm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My uh, dinner was unexpectedly ready. So yeah, just got, had to go and uh, stuff my face, pretty much. So yeah, so you turn this back around again then. <coughs> Which actually means we're going to have to go over there and uh, lift that up. But uh, we'll do it in a second, we'll just push this over. Yeah, this video might be a little bit longer as well because we're doing this. Probably towards a 30 minute mark. I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, if you want to suggest a time, what, how long you like videos, my videos to be, then by all means, leave a comment in the comment section and uh, let me know how long you like the videos. Just so you know, I can try and then I'll try my best to keep them to around that time limit, that time that you guys like uh, like watching. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's go back over here. Is that, yeah, it's next to this box. <coughs> okay, this could take a little while. I'm sorry for the long video, but um, <coughs> I don't really want to break this bit up. If you know what I mean, I'll well, just we we'll sort this bit out and uh, just before we climb in through the balcony, I think I'll the video there. <coughs> Go on, Smith. There we go. Okay, nice. Let's go round. Wait, can we run? Yeah, I don't know why I'm walking all the time. I should be running. Okay, perfect. Let's switch over now. Run round. I... Watson, I need your help. Oh, we've got the gate in the way now. Uh, hang on, hang on. We need to switch back up because we need to see where this goes. Oh, it's, it's right next to him. Perfect. That could not have worked out better, for being honest. Uh, so let's just move back over there. Okay. Switch back up. Oh, and then we ne now we need to move. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Now we need to push this all the way around with this on top. <coughs> it's going to be moving even slower now, that cage on top. Pull, pull. <coughs> Wait, I said Smith already, did I? Is it Doctor? No, it is Smith, isn't it? Wait, I'm just gonna have to check this. Oh, we can't actually look at our notepad, okay. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Please. I'm confused now. Is it Watson? Smith. It's one of them two names for sure. For some reason, I just can't remember. I think it's Smith. Oh, no, oh. okay, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, but I'm all about that because I'm just confused myself. <coughs> So this one's the last bit, so we go over there and we're straight in the balcony, so... Yeah. Let's get this done. Just quick as we can. Perfect. Well, after that, actually, like, realising what we need to do... It's quite, a uh, like, kind of simple, like. Right? Alright, let's push this down. And then walk across. Right in the boat. Oh no, hang on, do we? There's one more thing we haven't actually done anything with, isn't there? Up here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's go let's go over first. Over to here. Oh, we need to move this gate again. Uh, where are we going around? They're here. I remember, it's this one. <laughs> I should just move all the way back over the first time. Oh well. 
Oh my god, it's a good job you can't walk off because I would have just walked off then. What's happened? Have we done it? Oh. Keep the concentration controls balanced to cross the pan path without falling. <laughs> okay. This is confusing. I remember we did this with the little boy. Okay, it's not... It's not the most difficult thing in the world, but it's certainly not, you know, easy. Trying to keep, keep an eye on both sides. Oh man, oh man, it's getting harder. Oh, it's getting harder. Okay. We've made it. Yes. Okay, so this is the last thing. If only I had access to a free chip. All oh, right, so we move it across to get the chain. And right, we need to find out where that is. Okay. Down the other end. Oh, the I just didn't run straight. Here we go. The only one I haven't didn't actually mess around with the first time. There we go. And we should be in. This will be the one this time. Oh, I didn't, oh, didn't realize I had press X. Right, now we've got it. There we go. We've made it to the balcony, we're in. Holmes, I'm here. Can you let me in? Oh, got a trophy, mechanical art. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, guys, before we go any further and let, and let him in. We are gonna end. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm sorry that it's a bit longer than normal, but I didn't realise that we we're gonna have to do all that to get break in. So yeah, a bit sorry for that. But yeah, as I said, let me know how long you like the videos to be, and I'll try and keep them to that, unless you know unexpected things happen, like in this video. And yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.